welcome to another Sketchbook Sunday episode. It's been months since I did my last one, but we're back. If you don't know what Sketchbook Sunday is, um, it's basically a series on my channel with only one episode, but this is the second one. <laughs> it just took me a while to make. Um, I just, I, I was procrastinating, okay? It's nothing new. <laughs> but Sketchbook Sunday is a series on my channel where you come along every Sunday, well, at least I try to upload these on Sunday, um, and we kind of just sketch or paint in this case and we chat and have fun and it's a little bit more chill without the pressure of needing to be funny or aesthetic or blah 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 and usually these are longer form videos that you can paint or draw to because i know the problem of having to like change videos every single time because all the draw with me's and paint with me's are like 15 minutes long um, and, uh, it's just annoying not having that many videos that are, like, long enough for you to paint to. I do recommend Sketchbook Session, um, by Prickly Alpaca. Uh, she has a lot of, like, longer videos, and I think those definitely, like, gave me the push to make this series, because I realized how much fun it is to watch someone draw while you draw along, and they're long enough, and blah blah blah. Anyway, and I'm talking about, um, whatever this thing is. Uh, let's paint! It is in my sketchbook, so it does count. <laughs> We've got this angle right here of my palette. Just so you can see me mixing paint. I did attempt to wash the palette. Are you proud of me? Um, you probably know that I never wash my palette ever. Look at this thing. This is usually dirtier. Like, I don't know. I, I never I never wash anything. I think the paint adds a little bit of character. Like, I don't know how much character that is, but wash out and I what I uh, I sketched out this like scene of this messy desk I'll put up the reference photo uh, of the pin and I'll link the pin in the description so you know I, I need to give credit to the thing I'm painting I won't be painting the exact color palette I'll try and like find a cute color palette that I can use let's try and mix these colors I want to talk about the content I'm making on YouTube at the moment. Um, I think, or I don't know if you've been around for this long, but you might remember the time where I was like, oh, I'm never doing speed paints again. Like I banned speed paints for like a bit. Um, I don't know why I did that. Actually, I do. Basically, I find speed paints kind of lazy. Not as in like, if you do speed paints, I'm not saying that those don't take a lot of work. For me personally, I feel like I have to be like constantly <laughs> editing and like speed paints take a lot less time to make than my compared to my other videos, which is like a plus. And it is because I get to get like more content out for all of you guys. But at the same time, I feel like I don't have enough creative uh, freedom with speed paints because I tried making them a little bit more aesthetic, for example, and putting vlog footage in front of them, that way they're a little bit more entertaining, and I have more fun with the editing and also just the entirety of, like, the process of making the video, but I generally just don't feel like I have, like, that much freedom and that much to do with speed paints, I just feel like I have to, you know, I, I get the footage, speed it up, and then do a voiceover over top, and personally, I don't find that very fun. <laughs> also, I feel like, um, for some reason, unless I'm, unless I'm literally like dying when I make videos, unless I'm constantly editing and constantly like for week, like not weeks, but for like an entire week, unless I'm like editing for an entire week and constantly doing stuff, unless I'm like absolutely burnt out after completing that, after making a video and I'm super like stressed and blah 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 then I feel like I didn't do a good job and I didn't try hard enough and I feel like I'm being lazy or I didn't like I don't know I feel like I didn't do a good job I don't know I don't know why but I feel like I'm being lazy or I could be putting more effort into videos so speed paints don't really help in that department because I'm like oh well that took so such a short amount of time even though sometimes even though sometimes speed paints don't take that short of an amount of time to edit sometimes they do take like you know a good a good minute but still uh i don't know for some reason i'm like oh yeah, yeah, yeah also just because the actual video didn't take a while doesn't mean the drawing that i'm making in the video didn't take take a while you know what i mean like the drawings that i make in those speed paints take like a really long time to make 
I'm not saying that I want to completely ban speed paints like I did that one time because when I did start doing speed paints again they came back harder than ever and so I feel like restricting myself like that is not a good idea because I do a lot of digital art in case you couldn't tell this is this is the one time that I'm not doing digital art because I miss painting traditionally um but I do I do a lot of digital stuff and it's hard to make videos about digital art unless I uh, I'm like screen recording it and doing a speed paint. I don't know how else to do that. So, I'm really bad at mixing colors, okay? Like, I can get the color I want if I do it digitally, digitally, but it's hard to do it if I'm doing it traditionally. At least for me, personally. I know some people have an easier time mixing colors than they do, like, from, at a, from, a, color, from a color picker, but I do not. I have, I have a hard time, like, Mixing colors with paint. I'm just trying to make like an off-white color at the moment. Um, obviously a big inspiration for a lot of people in our community is Drawing with Waffles. And I love her art absolutely. Like, she, I think I, I literally grew up with her videos. Like, um, I, I, I've, I've been watching her for like years and years and she's affected my art style quite a bit. But I think now I'm more so inspired by her videos rather than her art because not that I'm not inspired by her art, but I before when I was, I guess, more of a beginner artist, I was like, oh, I want to draw exactly like her. Right. And uh, that's not that's not really <laughs> that's not what I'm trying to do right now. I am my ideal style and that I'm trying to build build, not built um, that I'm trying to build is not not that like obviously there's a lot of elements of rin style that i really really like and i want to incorporate in my own art but it's not like my goal at the moment like her exact style is not it like she's definitely influencing my art a ton but i have so many other artists that i look up to and uh influence my work a lot um i think rin i think she just really influences me when it comes to videos and i really like the format of her videos lately she's been doing more voiceovers but still like she still has that like kind of draw with me like you get to see the whole process and type of thing and you kind of get to draw along and see her sketching and stuff and i really like that and i used to do a lot of videos like that but i just ha i've stopped lately just because i just haven't had the time to do videos like that um, but I want to get back into it and I feel like my videos weren't very entertaining when I was doing it like that just because I I was rambling and it was boring. I wasn't adding my own twist on things. It was just me drawing and talking and I would barely do like a rough cut and it wasn't ideal and I want to like try and have some kind of format that's similar to that but still have that kind of vibe that I like. I'm also trying to incorporate humor into my videos. Not lately but I don't know. I I like I I think my previous my a little bit of my older videos have a lot more like humor to them, I guess. <laughs> Are more humorous. I don't know. I'm trying to like mix humor and aestheticness. I don't know. I feel like I'm failing at both at the moment, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to like mix both those things because like there are so many amazing artists on YouTube that have the most aesthetic videos ever and I think they all edit with CapCut which is a mobile app and I don't want to edit on my phone. That just does not seem fun for me. I used to edit on my phone and I'm past that now. I, I, edit, my, I edit on my laptop and I think it would be really hard for me to transition back on my phone, editing on a tiny little screen. So I'm, I'm gonna continue editing on my laptop, but I wanna like, I want that aestheticness. And I definitely found like a vibe and like a way I want to edit my videos, but I, they're still not aesthetic enough, but I like them. I like the little vlog footage that I add. I have more coming, more videos like that. I don't know if you guys like the vlog footage. I really enjoy editing it, so that's why I keep like doing it. But I don't know if you guys even like it. Maybe you don't. <laughs> Tell me what you want to see. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, and uh, I kind of want to also incorporate humor into it. I've had people tell me that I'm naturally funny, even in my voiceovers, which thank you, but. I don't know about that. Maybe I think I do think editing is definitely necessary to make me funnier. But if you know who Curtis Connor, Danny Gonzalez, Drew Gooden, Nick is not green, uh, D'Angelo Wallace, Jarvis Johnson, like every single commentary YouTuber out there, basically that's the humor that I have. Um, 
and that's like my biggest those are my biggest inspirations for humor i guess and like comedy and i don't want to be a comedian that's for sure but i find them hilarious and they're like definitely one of my they're like my favorite youtubers i love commentary youtube and i want to kind of put that kind of um energy into my own videos while still remaining like while still making them cute and aesthetic and pretty so i don't know i don't know i'm trying to find a balance <laughs> We need orange, orange, because orange is the opposite. No, orange is not the opposite of green. How am I so dumb? Red is the opposite of green. So if I want to make a muted green, I add red because they're, they're like contrasting colors or complementary colors. That's that's a different thing. Is contrast and complementary? I guess they're kind. You know what? I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me, okay? This is why I don't want to do tutorials. I like know nothing. <laughs> I thought orange. I don't know the the complementary colors in the color wheel for some reason like my brain is always broken i'm like yellow and blue are opposite colors right and i'm just like no no they're not orange and blue right no yeah <laughs> yellow and purple see what i mean i'm not i don't know why i'm so bad at that <laughs> i shall mix it here with the red Ooh, i just made purple or brown i made brown well, we might need that brown. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to make like a slightly muted green, but hold on. I need more green. I'll put it here. I think you're seeing a lot of the paint, the paint mixing angle at the moment, but uh, how long have I been recording for? 20 minutes. <laughs> A lot of that was silence though, so it's fine. Is this a good muted green? Yes, that's the color I was work that, that I was looking for, at least the hue. Now we need to lighten it up a bit, which is the value. Haha, -ha, I'm learning things. Look at me. I used to always mix up the value and hue is the general color, right? Like blue green, stuff like that. Blue green, you know, the name of the color. And then Saturation is how bright it is. So is it grayish or is it very vibrant? And then we have, um, uh, what's it called? <laughs> then we have value, which is how dark or light the color is. <laughs> I'm kind of a genius, as you can see. <laughs> I feel like I should have known this by now, but I don't know why I'm just understanding this now. I always got very like confused by that stuff. I'm not sure why though, but I finally understand it, haha. -ha. I find paint mixing very relaxing. I don't know if you do, but you're having it right now. I still have yet to actually start painting, so I can never find the right one. <laughs> do I use this? This is rock solid when it's dry. Oh, okay. And there's hair everywhere. <laughs> and my hand is green now. Oopsie, <laughs> I'm a zombie. Ew, that is really green. Especially when I turn up the saturation on this video, it's gonna be like, ah! I did use graphite to sketch, which was probably a bit of a bad idea, but what can I do, okay? I, I, my, my sketching process is very messy, as you can see. So I always like press down a lot and go over a lot of areas. I can never sketch lightly, you know? So it's gonna be a little muddy. I'll try and erase most of it though. Okay, we've got all the colors now. Let's get to painting, finally, okay. I'm very scared, but also excited. All my needed erasers are dead, by the way. Like, they're super hard, super sticky, super gross. Um, I think I just have to accept the fact that I don't know how to, like, care for a needed eraser. But also, it's fine. Like, I don't think you need to buy a needed eraser. They're fun. But, mm, just get a normal eraser. It works just fine. Add, like, a wash of yellow because i want the undertone to be a little yellow maybe i'm not sure what i'm doing but uh, <laughs> that's not where i wanted that to go but that's okay i definitely should have erased the graphite should i erase the graphite i'm gonna i'm just gonna quickly erase the graphite let me get an eraser There we go. Just a bit. Ooh, that's smudging. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Should have done this beforehand. Now <laughs> oh, I can't even see my sketch. Ah. 
Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep going. We'll just add some water. Here we go. See? Oh, that's so gross. That is so gross. Ah! Oh no, it's turning green. Wait, what do I have under here? My frogs. No! Ah! This paper's not thick enough. Ew, 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 ew. That's so gross. That's such a gross color. Oh no, white. White will fix it. Oh, that's really opaque though. It's gonna cover up my sketch. Let me like try and get it off or something. <sighs> well, this is difficult. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's okay. See that? That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I can't even see my sketch anymore. <gasps> what have I done? Ah, no. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's just keep on doing whatever we're doing. Let's go. We'll make... Uh, where do I start? Do I do the walls first? I think that would probably be a good idea, right? Hmm. I'll, I kind of just want to keep the walls white, if I'm being honest. But what's the fun in that? Do I, like, make the shadows a different color? <laughs> There's so much going on in that reference photo. There's a lot of stuff on there that I... I can't really re-sketch afterwards, but that's okay. I'm not using tape, by the way, because I'm just gonna paint all over the whole page. It's fine. Um, in case you can't tell, I have a different setup. I'm, like I've said, at my grandparents, so, um, this is what we're gonna have to deal with. The setup isn't that bad, actually. Like, this might be shiny, like this thingy that my grandma has on the table, but... I think I should be fine here. I'm upstairs, so I don't think anybody will be bothering me. I I can't I want I can't wait to travel again. I really miss traveling. I love traveling, but I also hate it. Like I hate car rides. They make me so nauseous. Um Yeah. I don't know. I wanted to meet the artist though this summer. I think that would be really fun. I don't know why I didn't do one last year. I don't know if I should do like an annual like every year I do a meet the artist. Probably, like, my, it probably wouldn't change too much year, from year to year, but I think it'd be fun to do one. I've always wanted to do one. If you guys want that, tell me in the comments. Tell me what kind of videos you want, okay? Please, thank you. So, um, I've, I kind of want to, like, think of my sketchbook in a bit of a different way. Um, just because I feel like I've been, I feel like I just how do i say this i feel like i've been pressuring myself to like keep a really pretty cute sketchbook and i feel like that everybody does that but especially like when i when i don't make something that like is instagrammable you know what i mean i just i don't know i feel like oh my art is bad like i want my sketchbooks to be really pretty and like at least like i want the colors to be nice and the drawings to be pretty and like i want it to be nice to look at but like that way I really don't have that much fun with my sketchbooks and I like it when they're like really messy like sure I still want them to be like cohesive and all that and like but honestly like I really like sketchbooks that have like a bunch of stuff like just stuck in them and just like a bunch of things like receipts and like little memories and leaves and just random things in the sketchbook that kind of make it like a scrapbook or like a journal and stuff like that like i really like those types of sketchbooks that when you look back you just it's like a, kind of like a kind of like a little time capsule and my sketchbooks are time capsules for me but when i add these little things like that like they make they make them all even more like nostalgic and you know i kind of i like it like that <laughs> but yeah like i said i just want to lift that pressure off of my sketchbook off of me for my sketchbook i don't know you know what i'm trying to say because, um, if I, like, flip through, I just, I don't know, they're all so ugly. <laughs> this, this one right here, this is my favorite one. I had so much fun making this page, and I want to make more pages like this, okay? Um, this one before that as well, I love. I love sketching with gel pen here. 
anyway i've been recording for half an hour well almost 40 minutes now so but it's okay i'm gonna try and record for like an hour or at least however long it's gonna take me to finish this i might not record the entire process because this might take forever so i'm just gonna i'm going to record what i can out of this you know while i'm still like talking and then at the end of the video i'm probably just gonna show you the finished product if i manage to finish it by the end of, by the time that i have to upload this video basically so i'll use this as my darker mid-tone i know like the actual like value isn't that different but as i tried mixing the colors as close as i possibly can i think i did actually very good i'm but I'm, I'm getting better at mixing colors which is nice it's nice to know i'll try not blend i love blending but i'll try not blend because i really like like harsh lines when it comes to that kind of stuff like i think it looks really fun like paintings especially so i'll try and like keep it kind of sharp which i usually go for a very soft looking style i guess but i don't know i think it might be fun for y'all i hope you're painting along or drawing or cleaning i don't know what else could you do this video just listening to it i don't know maybe it's just fun to watch should i do this as a premiere i don't know if i should make this video a premiere maybe i should so then we could all chat as well. I don't know. I don't I don't want to sit there for like half an hour though and have to watch my own video <laughs> for like the 50th time, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? What time is it? It is Let's see. Phone, will you tell me? <laughs> Are you allowed to tell me? Hello? No. Okay, I'll just check on my laptop. Four? It's four! Oh my god, it's four! <laughs> there, what? Why is it four? Where did the whole day go? I feel like I just started filming. Come on, man. I sleep in, that's the thing. I like sleep in a lot of the time, so... Not a lot of the time. I sleep in, like, every day. It's summer break, let me be. Are you out with- like, if you do- if you're still in school? Um, is school over for you? Like, did you finish? Or, because I know a lot of people are still doing, like my cousin, for example, he finishes, like, I think on the 25th of June or something. Wait, it's like the 27th or something. What? Wait. Oh, it is the 25th of June. Oh, well, <laughs> um, well, if my cousin is watching this, which I don't think he is, but I think he should be done with school today or something like that. Maybe, possibly. I don't know, maybe he finished before, or maybe he's finishing after. I don't know, but I know he finishes a little later. I finished on the 10th, so. I know some people are still in school, and I, I feel bad for you, I'm sorry. I guess not. Oh, we hit 700 subscribers! <laughs> I totally uh, forgot to mention that. I can't believe we're already at 700, 700 subscribers. You know what I really regret not doing? You know, you know how Gowry slash Citrus Gem how she like does like a sub count at the bottom of her videos i wish i i wish i did that from the start but now i feel like it's too late for me to start like i'm too lazy to do that in every single description uh... um have this whoa this brush Okay, okay, pop off. Look at that. Ha! Huh, that's so thin. I need to use this brush for the, like, the liner, maybe? Or some, like, definition that I need to do in these? Should I try lining with a brush? <gasps> that's a bad idea. I feel like I'm... I feel like that's a bad idea. Should I do it? I was originally gonna do it with, like, gel pens, but... I'm feeling kind of brave. Look at that. So lively, so pretty. I love wearing yellow clothes too, but lately I've been really into wearing like minty green and like yellowy green blue. No, 
that's not a color, yellowy green blue. <laughs> yellowy green and like minty bluish green as well, like very, like maybe like a sapish, like yellowy green, you know? I don't know, I don't know if you can understand what I'm trying to say, but I've been wearing a lot of those types of colors, basically. Like I've been wearing a lot of um, green clothes, but like the pretty greens, not the ugly ones. Green can be a very ugly color sometimes. I have hope. Still in kinda in the ugly phase, so I gotta chill. Can't be like, oh, it's ugly, I give up. <laughs> Do you guys like Sketchbook Sunday videos, like episodes? I like these, they're very nice, they're very chill. I hope you guys like them too. This one doesn't really have much rhyme or reason. Like the, the last paint with me I did was like a Q&A, so I, I kind of had something to do, but with this one, I don't really have much to do. I guess the, the first Sketchbook Sunday episode was also a Q&A, but again, this one, don't really have much going on. Um, we're just kind of going with the flow, talking about whatever, so. Ooh, okay, I started watching Demon Slayer. I think I like, I'm pretty sure I only watched the first episode and then I I'm really bad with watching shows and like also playing video games I never find the time to do it for some reason. I really want to play Genshin I haven't played it in a really long time. So I really want to get back into playing it because I love that game um, But I just haven't been playing it very much because I don't have enough time. I never get around to doing it um but I really want to. <laughs> Same with like shows and stuff. I, I'm literally only one episode in because I, I don't know, I just don't have the time. Um, should I end the video? I don't know, maybe I'll, I'll come back a little later. I don't know if this is a successful Sketchbook Sunday episode because the painting isn't done yet. <laughs> um, I don't know, I'll stop it for now and then we'll see what I do with it. I might just show you the finished product because maybe this video is long enough. Um, what I'll do, I'll, I'll probably just show you the finished product because I don't want this video to be too long, but I hope you painted along or drew along or did whatever. If you did, tell me what you did in the comments. Um, I hope this was at least slightly entertaining and um, I'll do more Sketchbook Sunday episodes in the future. Um, yeah, if future me, I guess, take it away with the outro and the finished drawing once I'm done with it. I'll probably be done with it tomorrow, let's be honest, because it's kind of late today. So I kind of want to take a little break and eat something probably because I haven't eaten like in a couple hours. So so um it's done here it is um honestly i i like it it's it's it you know it turned out nice i don't i don't know i mean it's not bad but i do think somebody more experienced could have done a better job but i like the color scheme i think it's pretty fun and you know what it's cute obviously i did to like fill this page as you can see um these are like sparkly gel pens um but yeah i really really like this drawing, this one right here in particular, is probably my favorite of this whole spread. But uh, yeah, I like this one too. Anyway, that's I'm getting distracted. This is the, this is the finished drawing, and I'm very very happy with it. Um, yeah, this is a little bit cluttered, as you can see, where, with all the details. It was kind of getting messy, but you know, it's fun. It's it's cute. I like it. I like the finished product. I'm not gonna make you. Yeah. It, I'm, Bye bye. Have a nice day and drink water and all that. I don't know outros, you know. Anyway, bye.